I'm Alan Dillian, I'm a lead artist on StarCraft II. Oh, it's done really well. We're really happy with the sales and especially the response we've got from the fans and the media, like really good ratings. Um, it's been overwhelmingly positive, so we're really psyched about that. When we, we hear the fans are really enjoying the game, that makes us happy and that's kind of why we do it. So. Um, right now, we're not talking a whole lot about um, the expansion of Heart of the Swarm, but we did release four mods, or re release them very soon. Um, we have the uh, Iron Chef, which is a cool little mod where you're a little Protoss uh, chef, actually, and you go get, there's a recipe and you get ingredients, you, and you fight against seven other players, you come back and you make your, your new uh, recipe, um, you get points for that, you can upgrade and everything. We also have Left to Die, which is basically a cooperative version of the campaign Outbreak mission, where at nighttime the zombies come and they're trying to get you, basically, and we added some more things to that, so you have like Merc units and, and a tech support. Um, the other one have a Star Jewel, which is really fun, and it's basically a match three kind of game on one side, and the other side you'll spawn in units as you make matches to go fight the other guy. So it's very frantic and very addictive. Uh, I think the casual players will like that one a lot. Uh, and the biggest one we have is Blizzard Dota, which is of course our version of Defense of the Ancients based on the War Warcraft 3 map. And for that, and for all these ones, we've done a lot of custom art. There's new interface, uh, new UI, there's new character selection screens, new heroes. We brought in some of the Warcraft 3 heroes, like uh, the Blade Master and the Mountain King and put them into the StarCraft 2. Uh, we have a brand new tile set, all sorts of fun stuff. So we really worked hard on these mods and I think the fans are really going to like it. Uh, no, we've been playing this for like a long time and we just, we really think it's a great genre and obviously the community is, you know, very supportive of that. There's tons of Dota maps out there, so um, this is just our version of it and we're really proud of it. Uh, well, over the next few months, we're going to release all of them in order, one at a time, and we, we plan on supporting them over the course of the, you know, of the, you know, the next year probably, but we just don't know exactly how that's going to happen yet, so we're not ready to talk about details. Um, the marketplace is, is we're really looking forward to it, but it's going to be down the road a little further, so we don't have a date on that just yet. You know, we can't talk about dates yet, of course. And we have a lot of great ideas for the marketplace and for Heart of the Swarm. I mean, the Heart of the Swarm is going to have a Zerg focused storyline, uh, new multi uni units for multiplayer, um, new mechanics, um, you know, tons of new art. We're not just making a, an expansion where we tack on Zerg stuff on top of the, the Terran expansion. Uh, the Terran, uh, you know, Wings of Liberty. We're going to make brand new stuff, so it's going to be huge. We just can't talk about it yet. You know, we just, we have, we're so busy with our own work, it's, it'd be impossible for us to help out anyone else. Um, one thing we do, though, is we have a community team that picked out three really awesome mods, and they're actually here today on the show floor to play. And so I encourage you to check those out. They're really fun. And also, you know, we, we just encourage everybody by putting more features into the editor, that's kind of how we help the community out. We put in more features of the editor, and also the mods that we're making right now, the users can actually break out the art and put in their own mods as well. So for the Dota, Star Jeweled, all these things, the users can go ahead and make their own versions of all that stuff as well. So that's kind of how we contribute and help out the mod community. Oh, we love esports. I mean, we're a big proponent of it. Um, it really took off with StarCraft 1, obviously, especially in South Korea. And even now, it's, we put a lot of features into StarCraft 2 to help esports. We, we try to be very conscious of it. It's a very tight game. It's very precise. It's you know as balanced as possible. Um, Battle.net has a lot of features coming down the line that are going to be really helpful for it. In fact, um, we're going to have Master and Grandmaster class coming down the line in uh, uh, Battle.net. Also chat and also featured replays. So if we have really awesome people like you know Fruit Dealer f playing somebody and it's an awesome match, you load up Battle.net, you'll see it right there in the front screen. So. Um, we're a very big proponent of it. We have a whole esports team actually that follows the action. Um, the GSL season one actually in South Korea was a huge success. A lot of pros are now switching from StarCraft one to StarCraft two, and in fact, 30% um, of the people that watch the GSL on GOM TV actually were from uh, other places besides South Korea. So it's really becoming more of a global esport, which we're really happy about. We're working on a lot of different options right now, but we can't see any, any details, but we definitely want to make it unique so it doesn't feel like just a Zergified uh, Wings of Liberty. It'll definitely have its own unique feel. It'll continue the story, um, the storyline everyone can, with all the main heroes, you know, Kerrigan, Raynor, everybody will be back and it'll help just continue that huge story arc. You know, we love all sorts of different genres. 
Um, I love shooter games, racing games, all these things, and there's definitely ways we could make that happen with the different franchises, but we're so focused right now on making a quality product um, for StarCraft 2 for the expansions that we just don't have time to think about those other ones right now. StarCraft Ghost was a great idea, and you know maybe one day we'll pick it up. But right now, again, we're just focused on you know we're so busy getting WoW. Uh, you know those expansions, Cataclysm is coming out. You know we got Heart of the Swarm, and of course Diablo 3, which is going to be awesome. So we're so busy, we just have to really focus on that right now. Um, that's a tough one. I mean, it's 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 a lot of trial and error, and, and the company made a lot of games before StarCraft 2. They were successful, but StarCraft 2 really held you know held the community in the esports. You know, it just really meshed really well. Um, I think one of the biggest things is the balance. We have three races, which is a lot more dynamic and fun, I believe. And so you don't get bored as easily. But also just the fact that we really try hard to make it as balanced as possible. So, you know, it, it feels like you, if you have skill, you won because of that. It wasn't some random event. It wasn't some cheesy tactic or some units overpowered. We, we really put a lot of effort into making it balanced. And that's probably the biggest reason it's been around for so long. Um, there's around 60 people in the StarCraft 2. It's all localized in, in our Irvine office, and it's the same team, mo uh, mostly the same team from Warcraft 3, and the Heart of Swarm, it's everybody from Wings of Liberty who we work on Heart of the Swarm. Um, I like the expanded universe for StarCraft. It's cool because we even play the board game at work once in a while, and it, it ju it's just fun. It's a different, it's a different take on it. Um, anything that progresses the story, like all the different novels and the, and the role-playing versions of it, is great because it just makes the universe that much more enriched, and we can actually draw upon that information now and put it into the to the game. So we, we love all that stuff. Um, they're very enthusiastic, you know, that, and that's I think all our fans like that. They're very passionate, and if they don't like something, they'll let you know for sure. And they're always quick to, you know, to uh, you know compliment us as well, which we always like to hear. That it makes us feel good. Um, I can't really distinguish the different fan bases because it's just all over the board. We have casual players playing WoW, you know, and grandmas, kids, and now with StarCraft 2, we're trying to make it as easy as possible in the lower settings, and so we're trying to get the casual players in there as well. Um, yeah, they're just really enthusiastic. That's the best thing, and we, we love that about it. Um, I think it's been really received really well. We've been so happy with the, the sales and the reception it's gotten from the fans. Everybody's very excited about it. We're very proud of it. We're very passionate developers, and we work really hard on it. So a lot of late nights, you know, over years, obviously, because we take a long time. But at the end of the day, we know we have an epic quality product, and so it's totally worth it. Um, I think the fans can just look forward to more, you know, innovative mechanics, uh, more awesome art, um, you know, good multiplayer, you know, for the next, hopefully the next 10 years as well. So that's our, our goal, basically.